Hello everybody, it is your boy Bradley Dot Vlogs. Today we're going to Lowe's to check out what kind of plants they have. My friend let me know that they found Mandula pothos at Lowe's. So we're going there to confirm if that's true. Sorry for sound out of breath, but I was just running back and forth because I was so excited. But yeah, I can't wait to show you what kind of plants they have. I haven't done one of these videos in a long time, so yeah, let's go to Lowe's. But before we get to Lowe's, make sure to drop a thumbs up. That just shows me that y'all like videos like this. And I'm looking for a pot as well, so it should be fun to see what they have. Alright guys, we just walked in, but I already found a good amount of stuff. Alright, so it looks like this whole urban jungle shelf is $12.98. So we have a string bean plant, a Florida Beauty Dracaena, Janet Craig Dracaena, we have ponytail palm, Sensevere Laurentii, or just a snake plant. We have some sort of fern and a Peperomia obtusifolia. And down here we have a Peperomia teardrop. We have a, I think this one's a Dracaena, another snake plant. And yeah, these are $24.98. If you can see that right there. Just, this is a Philodendron Xanadu for, let me see if we can find the price. $25 as well. Really nice plant, really nice size. This is what really caught my eye. It's a lemon lime philodendron. This is a four inch pot, I believe. And how much is it? $12.98. It comes with a nice pot. And we have one of these at home, but it's just a little cutting. Here's a cute little Ethereum. I'm not sure how much this one is, probably $10. And just random succulents like jade and stuff, and this whole wrap, which I won't really get into because I'm kind of here for the tropicals and for that menjula. So I'll see you on the other side. I'm putting you down now. I don't need you anymore. Guys, I'm not looking at any of these right now. I just saw the menjula, and it's bigger than I was expecting. Here is the menjula pothos. Um, and there's multiple pots too. Blue, mint, cream, dark green. Wow, it's so unique. It's almost like an Enjoy and a Marble Queen mix. Oh, there's so many in the back. We're gonna have to, guys, they're like fully stocked. This size pot is only $4.98. This one's mine, okay. All right, Ashton says he's getting that one. While we're in this area, I'm kind of looking. Here's some Croton, some Ivy, some Nerve Plant, Shaflera, more Janet Craig Dacina. Same stuff back there. We have some more Fetonia. Um, different bacchios, or you can just call these dumb canes. We have a lemon, lemon lime dracaena, some golden pothos, some peace lilies that are in bloom. Beautiful. And here we have a whole bed of Monstera deliciosa. More, oh, I think this is, it's kind of hard to tell between an aglinema and a different bacchio when they're this big. Yeah, it's one of those two. We have some fiddly figs, more oh, of that. Really nice butterfly syngonium. <gasps> Guys, you just not found a white butterfly syngonium. Wait they're, for me, wait for really me. Nice. <laughs> I'm getting there. All right, guys, Ashton's going ahead, but yeah. Fiddly fig, this little quarter line. There's a nice bird of paradise. Um, here's some lucky bamboo. More of more of the piece of Ashton. I'm sorry, I see a Hoyo. If you didn't know, I'm like really obsessed into Hoyo lately. I don't. I'm like pumped right now. <laughs> like, look at this, guys. It's you just now found a Marble Queen basket for only twenty dollars. Okay, so here we have some more Fetonias, another Ivy, a little fern, and golden pothos. Uh, same thing over here. We have some purple waffle, some Florida beauty dracaena, uh, little false aurelia trees. And then down here is Ashton's marble queen. This little trailing cactus looks like a dog's tail, but I'm not too sure. Then little golden pothos. Not little, it's huge. Let me see how much this is. $20, guys. Come to Lowe's <laughs> for plants. Right, let's put that back in. Uh, yeah, that's, these are just the golden. I can't believe we saw Minjula. Like, I've never seen it in real life. 
more purple waffle, and I guess the list goes on. Nothing, nothing too eye-catching, but there's still beautiful plants. Here's a water bottle. Um, just, again, random succulents, and here's like a little peperomia section. These peperomias, peperomias are $8.98. We're really into alocasia lately, and here's this oh really goodness. good poly. How much is it? Uh, oh, it's 1898 with the pot and everything. That's wow, so that's nice. That's less oh, look <gasps> Guys, look at how huge this Hoya Carnosa Crimson Princess is. Oh no, but it's a rubber wrap. Wait, wait, wait. Can you hold this? Hold it next to your head. The Carnosa Princess I have at home is from Lowe's, but it's not this big. Yeah, mine has long trails and it's growing, but this one's just so long. Yeah, this is the first one I saw. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, we can put the princesses down. But here we have a kangaroo paw fern that's actually really healthy. Oh, look at this Hoya tendril. This is what I really like about Hoyas. They grow this little crimson stem and their little leaves just come out of here. So don't snip these off because leaves do come out of this. But yeah, wow. Kangaroo puffin, uh, some sort of Tritoscantia, um, ferns, guys, there's, there's Hoya everywhere, and it was 1998, right? There's a Cupid Pepperoni, and look, there's like really nice reserves with like these bright orange, um, vines, bright orange, oh my gosh, guys, look, there's some Calathea, wow. <laughs> There's a Cal Calathea Peacock, and it's $12.98. That's a really nice price. Oh my gosh, look, Calathea Ornata. Or Calathea Pinstripe. If only there's like a bigger variety of Hoya, because I already have this variety of Hoya, and I'm not sure if I want to get another one today. Let me know in the comments if you snatch this up, because I don't think I will today. I definitely would if you didn't have one. But if you're not a Hoya person, I definitely recommend getting into them because there's just hundreds of types to get into. Well, I think we'll move on from this section because we still have a whole other training chocolates rack. Okay, so another Hoya here. Fill it under Brazil. What the? What? What is this? What do you... <gasps> Wait! Is this Raffin of Florida Tetris Blue? Epipremnum It's Epipremnum Baltic, Baltic Blue. Yeah. But is it like a Cebu Blue? It's really similar. Wait, how much is that? 20. I've never seen one of these in real life. Hello? I've heard of them though. Look at this giant Hawaiian pothos. Oh so up here we have a Begonia Benigo. Has these beautiful little glitter dots. And it's 1998. Here we have a Calathea Regia Picta Dotty. Oh look, here's like one of the last few Norfolk Pine. Uh, some Philodendron Hope. Um, what else? In these hanging baskets, we have food. So right More of these little. I don't want to get pricked, but it's a cruciform cactus. Never heard of it. Uh, but yeah, look at look at these vines, guys. It's like almost as thick as my pinky. Do you see that? Oh, look at these little star aloe. This pot is. $24.98. I love the way these feel. <gasps> Look! Talantia Zeropesia. These are... $17 each. Yeah, more Begonia Rex. I recommend getting this one. I don't know the exact cultivar, but I really love it. It's literally looks like a tracksuit almost. But here's this cute little ficus. Ficus Macrocarpa, yes. These little pots are so cute. It almost feels like chalky too. That's really cool. Uh, I've always wanted a Macrocarpa, but I haven't gotten one yet. Today might be the day. Yeah, I'm looking out for those Syngonium that Ashton pointed out. I'm not really sure where he got it from, but... Oh, I see it. Look. I love Syngonium. I have an Albo Syngonium back at home. But it's never enough thing going in. Just gotta make sure the backside doesn't have any bugs. I love it. This is a maybe. It is 4.98. Really nice price. I just 
Don't know if I have the space for it. I'm definitely getting that Minjula Pothos. I'm like so pumped. I got two leaves off of Etsy. Here's a whole other section. We have some bromeliads, more snake plants, more pothos. Here we have some calanchoes. Little carnivorous plants right here. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, beautiful orchids. Orchids are really nice. Um, more bromeliads down here, more ivy, tiny fiddly figs. Um, ooh, African violet. If you could just feel these leaves through the screen. So we have an ivy, we have more peperomia, some sort of ficus, I think. Form sin creeping fig. I've never seen one like this, it almost looks like a fiddly fig. Look, here's a full neon leaf in this Brazil basket. That is so cool. Oh, look, here's a box of money tree. I didn't know they still sold these out. But um, let me see if I can reach in here. Uh. Okay, it's kind of little, but it's $17. Comes with this really neat, kind of like mosaic look type pot. Not mosaic, I don't know. But yeah, cute little money tree. Make sure when you get money trees, you repot them as soon as you bring them home because the trunks are, are wrapped together with rubber bands at the base of the roots, and that's going to eventually choke it out and kill it. So, yeah. That... All right, so this wasn't me, but I know it smelled soil somewhere. So, let's just pick it up. This, by the way, is a yucca plant. And this one is $15. Oh, look, here's some more singoni. How did I not see this? These are fuller as well. Sago palm, ZZ plants. We have this beautiful Calathea, a Peperomium tussifolia. Um, yeah, and here's some bags of soil. Oh, let me look at the pottery because that's. I came here for pottery as well. I'm trying to rescue this begonia and Phioxus that I got, and it needs a ceramic. It needs a ceramic glazed pot. So we are here now. I need one that's pretty small. It doesn't need a lot of soil because it's just like two, three stems of the plant. I think this is their smallest size. It's $7. So, I don't know. I think I'll... Look, maybe even something like this. This is all right here. Um, we already went through all these already. Those and these. So let me go back to that manjula and go ahead and pick one out. I think I'm just gonna pull this whole thing out because I'm very indecisive and it has to be the perfect one. They're all really nice and curly and variegated, but it's a really hard decision. So I've kind of narrowed it down to this one and these are like super packed dense. And once you repot this, they'll just explode with growth. So let me just decide because there's so many this one's really nice too look at how big it is oh wow what if i what if i take two hold on i never really thought about that but i can take two manjula pothers ashton come in i was telling them that i could probably even take two like i never really thought about that but it's so cheap that i can yeah, take two put them in a pot together so yeah that looks so nice yeah i feel like this one has more manjula leaves yeah look at that yeah, I think I'm taking this one. Yeah, it's, it's super like, packed. Yeah, I'm taking both of those. Look at them together. It's so cool. I mean, yeah. I just... Manjula. I can't believe it. Such a hard decision. I'd take them all if I could. One, I don't have the space. And two, that'd get kind of expensive. Okay, so I think we'll go ahead and wrap it up because it's five minutes till closing. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and head out. We'll see y'all at home. Yeah, I really love this Ficus Macrocarpa out of all of them it's really nice and yeah i've never had one of these before so i'm really excited i've always wanted one i was just waiting for the right time and the right price and i think right now is a nice time anyways we're gonna continue looking around some birds nest spring i love birds nest spring actually i gave mine away as a gift they're just so hardy and just like like, if you put this into your space, it will just give it an instant jungle vibe. Here's some really nice Monstera Adansoni. They're $20. Let's 
I just pull it out. It's uh, part of the trending tropicals line. Anyway, I love this begonia maculata. Just so stunning. I've always wanted one because I love begonia. But um, again, right time, right price type of deal. Look at that. Just burgundy maroon backside. So stunning. And I love the growth pattern. I'm getting this one from my Manjula Paltos. Do you yeah. like it? Yeah, I think it it's, a, it's a nice size. And this is on clearance for $2.80. Here's some massive Peace Lilies for $25. Wait, let me see if I can pull this out. Oh, yeah. It's really heavy. That will definitely spice up your living space hey guys i'm gonna end this video pretty abruptly because i've been procrastinating finishing this video we went to lowe's a few days ago and we picked up a few plants we didn't venture into any new genuses or anything we just played it safe with the good old epipremnum so i'll show you what we got so as you saw i grabbed the two manjula pothos and i'm actually gonna pot these together one day so they can like kind of trail and vine down i'll post updates and stuff just to see how they grow because i'm actually really excited to have this plant in my possession now this is the epipremnum arium mandula really nice plant uh there's some massive leaves on here like this one right here just look how variegated that is and then this one is unique in its own way. It has a little vine coming out the side. So these are gonna be perfect in a big planted pot. Now let's move on to what Ashton got. So Ashton actually went ahead and repotted his mandula that he got. It's looking really nice in this beautiful terracotta pot. Um, and yeah, it's just very stunning, very like roughly. I just love it. He also went ahead and shined it and fertilized it as well. So this baby is just gonna grow really nicely. Um, and yeah, I should probably do the same with mine, but yeah, <laughs> kind of like heart shaped leaf. You can see Roy in the background. There's Roy with his best friend Platy in there. They're both doing great. This is also one of my favorite leaves. Just, oh, such a beautiful pot though. And last but definitely not least, the Epipremnum Panatum Baltic Blue. It's kind of nicknamed the Baltic Blue, but it is just... A panatum, not a sebu blue. He also went ahead and shined the leaves and just look at how beautiful these fenestrations are. This thing is literally like bigger than my head and Ashton knew he had to get this plant the second he saw it be because he said it resembled a peace lily crossed with a raffidophora tetrasperma and I couldn't agree more. Like if they had babies, this is what it would look like. I'm gonna put pictures of both of those plants if you're not too familiar with them. But yeah. Oh, also, I didn't get this plant from Lowe's. I actually got it from Home Depot, but I'm actually really excited about it too. Really excited about it too. And I'll have some side there. I am super excited about this one. I finally got my hands on a baby bonsai tree. They're sold as bonsai uh, because of the way they are snipped and trained to grow. So bonsai is actually the art of shaping the trees, not a certain type of tree. So you can do like, you can, yeah, you can make, you can turn any plant essentially into bonsai. I've seen jade bonsai, I say the Magnus Harpa is the best looking bonsai and the most popular bonsai and the most popular just because it resembles a tree the most. Look at these cute little leaves and little trunks i got this one because it's just so unique it just kind of looks like a little forest canopy down there and it just makes my windowsill look so good and i'm really excited to own this plant because i'm trying to expand my kind of ficus collection <sighs> but yeah if it's honestly so perfect if there still then definitely get some Our now the epipremnum, or just better known as pothos, are very fast growing by nature. It's one of the easiest plants to get into as a beginner. 
I'm not really going to go into Epipremnum in this video. I'm just kind of showing you different cultivars and types. A few months. Neon Pothos. Jade Pothos. Marble Queen. Those that actually needs water. Golden. Mandula. Silver Satin, which is actually not a Potho. It is a Scandapsus Pictus Argerius, but it's classified as a... And it's, the Cebu Blue. So that's kind of like our little collection. And if we want to get into Scandapsus a little bit, I also have the Silverian, the Exotica, and the Scandapsus Trubii Moonlight. Moonlight. If you made but it this yeah, far, I, I really would. want to thank y'all for clicking on my video and watching and for just kind of spending time with me, shopping together, because it really means a lot. I love the support. So I can make more because I love plant shopping, vlogging, and helping just all identify all common big box store plants. And... Store plants. And yeah, that's really my approach with videos like this. But yeah, anyway, I don't want to make this video longer than it already is. Home, so or I hope you see out in a public. Great New Year. Like, oh, and that one kid on YouTube. Morning, like, great day, great night. Whatever time you're seeing this. And I'll see you all next time. Peace.